This video is going to go over how to remove ticks safely and what to do with them. So in Canada, we're seeing a significant rise in the number of ticks, um, especially ones that can carry diseases such as Lyme disease or Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So we've developed this tick removal kit to have all the tools and information you need in one convenient place. Nice and small, will fit in any first aid kit or to take on a day trip, easy to throw in a backpack. So to go through this, it's sealed in a waterproof uh, poly bag. You have a contents list right here that goes over everything that's in the kit. And then on the back is our tick assessment form. So this is a form you can fill out. It has all the relevant information on it that a doctor is gonna want to assist in the treatment of uh, potential Lyme disease or Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So some things to fill out, date and time tick was located and removed, where you had the tick on the body, possible time the tick was attached. And the most important thing is if it was possibly over 24 hours, that's what the doctors are really gonna wanna know. Um, generally where you were when you think you got the tick on you, any symptoms that you're having, if you've developed a rash, and then it goes over some information here. So that's our tick assessment form. It includes a pencil so you can fill that out. And then some removal tools. So we have our tick tools, which I'll demonstrate in a second here. Some really awesome fine tip stainless steel tweezers. So we'll review that. And then for post care, we've got some band-aids just to cover the area and keep it clean. Some cleaning wipes, these are BZK swabs. So these are safe to, to clean the skin afterwards just to prevent possible infection of a, of a wound. You have our tick collection bag, which soon will be a hard case. So we're just waiting for those to come in to up these kits. Uh, but right now you can open this up place your tick inside and then bring this with you to the doctor and then they can go through how to send it away uh, for identification and mapping uh, where they'll actually like test these ticks and then use it just for mapping for public health. So you got that here that you can keep with your assessment form. Then we have our tick identification card. So this helps to kind of identify uh, dog ticks from black legged ticks. And then it goes over some prevention tips on one side and how to remove the tick on the other. So that's in there. We have a magnifying glass or a Fresnel lens. So this is to help really get nice and close to identify if you got all the tick pieces out. And then this is our instruction card for the tick removal tool. So we've got our fake tick here in our hand. This is our, our blueberry tick. So the big thing with tick removal is to try to get the entire tick out in one piece. So what you really want to do is get nice and close to the skin with either fine tip tweezers or your tick removal tools, tick keys. Grasp it nice and strong and then pull with nice steady force until the whole thing comes out. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. Then you can place this in your tick bag. Fill out your form and then take these with you to the doctor. Uh, for potential treatment. For the tick tools, I'll just demonstrate how that works as well. So we'll get our fake uh, tick bite going here again. So the tick tools work similarly. You can pick one, there's a, there's a smaller one for really small ticks and a slightly bigger one for larger ticks. And this just grass in underneath and then you can just use this to steadily pull up. So it's just another way to grasp at. Um, this tends to help with a little bit smaller ticks that are harder to get. They have a nice fine graduated tooth in here that really grasps in under the tick and then helps you pry it up. So there's our larger tool and then this is our smaller tool for smaller ticks. So that is our tick kit uh, and just how to safely remove ticks.